Hello, Buzzercats. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Beltglass Factorio. Well, last time we did a bunch of optimizations, uh, mainly around trains and stations and queuing, and it has improved a bit, but we still have things like this here. Um. Which is not good because basically uh, this train here um, wants to load more gears but there are none and uh, more gears can only come in if a iron train can come in but if the entrance is blocked that's not gonna happen. So what I was thinking we will need to do at some point maybe upgrade the gear production to uh, to two base. Um, deal with with more uh, uh, signals. However, this one. Should work, not sure. Uh, and then probably also have a waiting base for incoming trains or trains that basically deliver uh, because, um, for example, if we have only one train supplying the red circuits, it can of course decide to go in this bay or in that bay and uh, these ones they are basically not controlled by the by the network so a train could roll in uh, with all the chests being full and um, on the other side over here they could be completely empty and this poses an interesting problem because uh, if we look at uh, the green network on the green network we have red circuits already on there so how would we go about um, doing the same thing for the input station of um, of a, a factory and I think the solution there is we put that on the red wire then we only have to ensure that we are not crossing wires uh, that we use here locally to figure things out and uh, the wire that actually goes around the base because that could really mess things up but I think the first thing we can do is actually add a third um, fuel station because a load of trains is waiting to be uh, to be fueled and I am thinking we will copy that and we will have one up here let's rotate that one this way we don't need that part and then we can actually go about and uh, put that in and then we will see because the goal of today's episode is to actually get some science packs uh, produced uh, so that eventually we can do more research. 
but let's figure out this uh, this uh, this refueling station up here first. Fuel station is in, so now let's have a look to see why we are not producing any military signs. So we do have one train here and actually sits there with some walls loaded already at pickup two but we don't have any bricks so why don't we have any bricks uh, looks like we do have some more there but we do have a bit of an uneven uh, distribution. This one is uh, disabled because we have lots of stone in here. So what if I distribute the stone that way and then do the same on here no 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 stone That should then at least load a bit more and hopefully we would get the next stone train in here but we can also try to get another stone train going Then, where is the stone train? Stone train is sitting up here. So, let's send that one on its way. And then we really have to uh, figure that one out. That's not good. I wanted to go in here. Why don't you want to go to that station? It's the same as the one above. They are queuing up behind there. That does not make sense. Yeah, ah, that one wants to go to the next station. That's why we have uh, 
have it here ahead. Well, this one... Um, okay, let's make this uh, like that for now. And have inactivity of 50 seconds there. Uh, inactivity of 50 seconds or 60 seconds and that's basically kind of uh, a measure to deal with the problem it's not a solution it is a workaround and probably we have five iron trains one two three are sitting there trying to unload but the chests are full so Clearly, we need more iron trains. And that's exactly what I will do next. Now, this is becoming ridiculous. And I think what I will do is hop out of this train. And then basically disconnect this part. Temporarily. And maybe if we manage, if we would have the station vertically aligned, maybe it would work out better. But I still don't get why this this happens here. Uh, really not satis. I mean, we could actually solve. The no, we can because uh, we are missing input ingredients, and. We do have the gears here on this side, but not on that side. 800, 800, 800. So, let's put two in here. Because once we have no longer enough gears on this side, then this station will turn off and we no longer have the problem. I think maybe it's something to do with, uh, with imbalance of the, of the whole thing. Uh, how are we looking down here? Well, we're still waiting for more, uh, for more stone. Um, actually, we have two stone trains waiting up here. Apparently, there is no uh, station for unloading the stone that would accept it. That would indicate that we have too much stone in there. I mean, up here, 
That's certainly true. And down here... We have this thing here. And then maybe also that. At least that should give us a bit more uh, uh, stone bricks for our walls. And let's go down here where we have blue signs. And actually, blue signs we are producing. This seems to work. Um, it could probably work better if we had more trains. Um, the other way around. Putting a bit of coal into it. Then let's go to here. Copy that. Go to here. And start that one up. So having more trains delivering things will speed up the the whole process assuming of course there are enough materials to be transported for the walls that's definitely not the case because we don't have enough uh, stone bricks uh, to uh, put into the factory in order to uh, to get the to get the, the walls produced so that's that's no good then but uh, I would assume that um, here we should see this train make another trip and hopefully uh, ending up in uh, in this line down here. All right then, uh, let's let's wait and see, and uh, uh, maybe before the end um, of this episode, we might even have enough uh, blue signs. Uh, in order to uh, to load a train, what's a bit weird is we're producing chemical signs here in uh, this factory, but not in this one. Like we did not unload anything in here. We will have to keep an eye on that. I think I can spot here part of the problem. With a setup like this, we're on the last delivery station. We have this uh, waiting uh, condition um, which means maybe the train leaves the uh, the final delivery station while still having goods in it 
Um, that then means that when reloading, um, we load less uh, items on the first station than we do on the second and uh, end up with an imbalance where we have more um, items in here and if these chests are full then these chests get full and if these are full and a train comes in trying to unload cannot do that because chests are full we will it will never proceed from here to the front uh, where this train is waiting to load and this problem may need some thinking i mean the easiest solution is probably to do away with this station one and two and just have one loading station um, which would mean that the whole setup here gets a bit more uh, spacious uh, and we would just have more um, more stations or more squares for the same thing overall to get the, the, the same quantity. That would probably also uh, eliminate the, the problem that we might have some uh, goods somewhere and it were a train waiting at another place. So I will think about that and uh, then eventually we will come to a conclusion there as well. And our delivery train, the first delivery train for military science is just running in and we start producing military science pack. So that means we are producing the science. Now let's fetch a bit more materials so I can uh, uh, set up the uh, trains to deliver the science uh, uh, flasks. And that will be the last thing we do in this episode. I've got two trains sitting here on these dead end tracks in a manner that they can pull out as soon as the stations are ready to receive. They are set up in this manner, um, or almost set up in this manner. Pick up one, pick up two, then train fueling and then delivery. And the train fueling is in here so that uh, we are not stuck at train fueling before uh, going to the going to the, the, the pickup and we will have to wait until uh, the military science pickup one um, is enabled and basically the same thing for this one because otherwise uh, the train would just rush through to pick up two uh, uh, and do the loop um, uh, without uh, fully loading at pick up one or even stopping at pick up one. So we managed to produce military signs and uh, Chemical science uh, did some improvement, but as we have seen, there is still lots more to do. And I think the, the only thing that actually works with this uh, double setup is the loading of the goodies from the smelting arrays and even there I might be wrong so 
we will see I think <coughs> next time we will do a new setup for the gears and see how that turns out to come out so until then goodbye